Hello YouTube, Chrome Freak here. It's been a while and I'm coming at you with a very, very rare knife video. Guys, I'm just a small knife collector, just started getting into knives a couple of years ago. Really don't have many, I think I have 10 knives. But quickly, I'll tell you the story behind this. Let's tell you what it is real quick. It is a Daryl Ralph, HTM made, manufactured, called a gun hammer. This is the auto version, very beautiful knife open it real fast. It's very quick, it's a full auto and I'll tell you real quickly a story on how I got this and why I'm doing the video real fast. Uh, we have um, a lot of gun, or gun guys, a lot of knife, he's got a gun guys coming to gun shop. Uh, we have a lot of high-end knife guys come in too. We carry Protex, uh, Microtex, some customs and so we get a lot, you know, obviously a lot of gun guys are knife guys too. I'm not a big knife guy, I appreciate knives, I, I like to look at them and I'm getting into them more uh, the older I get here, but I was never a huge knife collector, just just wasn't. I think they're beautiful. I've always carried a knife, always, but just was never a high collector, a big collector of them. But now I'm starting to appreciate them more and get into them a lot more. And I'll tell you how the story behind this. A guy named Bo, I won't give his last name, come into the shop. He's a very high-end knife collector. This guy's collection would amaze some of you. In fact, if you go back to my videos, Oh, it's been a long time. I put a video of his, some of his collection up at one time. And I put it, I think it was high-end knife collection, I called it, or something to that effect. It's up in my videos, probably in the entertainment videos, in the entertainment videos, I'm sorry. But go in there and check it out, and you'll see some really nice knives there. Anyhow, he needed some gunsmithing work done. And, you know, we get in a gun shop, we're not only talking about guns, we talk about knives and everything else there. And it was one of those times that he heard me mention that I don't have an auto and I'd like to get an auto. And I was thinking about getting one of the Protex or the Microtex. And a day or two later, he come in and he had, he had this knife and he pulled it out. I was like, man, that thing is beautiful. I just look at it, man. It's gorgeous. Uh, Use-wise, we'll get into that here in just a minute on the video. Once again, I'm not a big knife guy. I don't use knives for a lot except for work. Tactically, I know nothing about them. Really. It's a work tool to me, that's what it is. Defensive would be way down on the list of things. Anyhow, where the heck was I? <laughs> that's what happens when you when you ramble, you lose where you were. But he, he needed some gunsmithing work done, and he offered me this knife, like a barter type thing. I do some gunsmithing work for him, and he gives me this knife. I really don't know what the knife, I didn't know what the knife was worth, really, until tonight. I did do a little background on this knife. I watched a couple other YouTubers videos on this. Uh, neither of them had the, the, the auto version. They had, one of them had the flipper and the other one had the regular folder, you know, flip open style. And I guess the flipper style has a hammer, oh, I'm sorry, has a flipper paddle that looks like the hammer on a 1911. Well, I'm going to show you one side. I'll show you this side first. It's very beautiful. Uh, made in the USA. Just look at the handles, they're aluminum handles, 3D style. But let me show you this side of the blade and what it says on it. As you can see, it's a prototype. It says 45 Proto number one. Now, the guy who got this knife actually got it at a knife show and he really didn't know the story. And in fact, if you go on Blade Forms, type in this in Blade Forms, the HM, the, the gun hammer, you're gonna find this come up. And it's this knife that was Bo that actually put that up. And he was trying to inquire on exactly what that is. Now what we think it might mean might be a couple of things. The 45 being, maybe that's what they were gonna call the knife because of the flipper style, the gun hammer, looking like the hammer of a 1911. And this is the, the first number one prototype for the auto that they made. Or were they gonna call it, or is this, <laughs> were they gonna call it the 45 and this was, prototype number one but there's a bunch of them or is this the 45 knife and the first prototype run I, I honestly don't know once again I'll show you guys that you got you knife guys out there if you know what the heck that is uh, please enlighten me I would love to know that's really one of the main reasons I'm putting this video up uh, you can see the blade this thing is hair popping sharp man I mean I'm on blood thinners for my heart attacks and I just bleed looking at this thing. I'm not kidding you. To me, it's just a beautiful knife. Tactically, I'm not a tactical guy. I'm gonna be 48 this year, guys. I've got a bad leg, I've had two heart attacks. You're not gonna catch me running around, stabbing people defensively 
if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to run stabbing people, period. But I'm talking about defensively. Uh, if I'm pulling this out in a defensive situation, it's because my gun broke and my backup gun broke. And this is like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I better grab a knife or anything I can get my hands on. That would really be it. That might sound crazy to some people, but really, I, I, I'm, I don't see myself fighting somebody with a knife unless I absolutely have to, or God forbid I'm in a gun-free zone. Uh, I don't even want to get into politics right now. I'm so upset with these guys. But anyhow, this to me, the knife is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I, I did write down a couple of stats on it that I, I will share with you, um, but I'm not going to get into a lot of the technical on it. It's CPM 530V steel. Whatever that means, guys. Uh, it's 3D machined aluminum handles. It's got a, I think the overall length is about eight inches, seven and a half to eight inches. Once again, I'm not real com confirmed on that because it doesn't look that long to me. It feels really good in my hands. Uh, some of the YouTubers were complaining about the texturing on it being slick or slippery. Well, you know, with a dry hand here, uh, reverse grip, uh, this thing is not slippery in the least bit, I can't speak. Now, if it had blood on it, God forbid, or, you know, your hands were wet or something like that, and once again, being used in a defensive tactical situation, well, maybe it would be. But I'm not that guy that's going to be using it that way. This would be the knife that I stick in my pocket when my wife and I are going out and I'm dressed decent. This is the knife I'll use. This is the knife. Let me show you this, guys. This is the knife I carry every day. You see the tip's gone. Um, it's just beat up. I, I use this knife. It's a work knife. That's what I bought it for. That's what I use it for. And it gets a lot of use as, as you can see. That's not going to happen to this blade. This blade here will go in my pocket when we go out somewhere decent. And I don't want that knife in my pocket. Now weight wise, uh, the YouTuber, the one YouTuber, actually a couple of them were complaining that it weighed over five ounces. According to the specs I read, it was four and a half ounces or 4.4 ounces. I'm sorry. I, to be honest with you, I don't really care. I carry this behemoth. This thing certainly is not nothing in my pocket. I carry a Glock 23, I carry an extra magazine, and I carry a TDI on my belt every day as well as this in my pocket and change, money clip, and all that other crap and phone. An ounce on this blade is not gonna make or break or mean any anything to me. It really doesn't, it means zero. I just love the look of it. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. And you know what? If it needs to cut something, it's going to cut something. Uh, don't hammer me knife, guys, because I'm just, you know, I'm, I don't know knives that well. I don't know if the design would be good or bad. Uh, what was this called again, too? The, the type of, of blade. He called it something. Um, what did it call it again? I thought I wrote it down, but apparently I did not. But it's some kind of a recurve style um supposed to be a modern look i think it looks beautiful with the holes machined in there whether it's to lighten it or for a bloodline or whatever the case may be i just think it's a gorgeous knife uh, not a lot to be said about it it's super fast and there there's by the way had a lot of blade play you could actually hear it i have none i have none up and down and i have none side to side there's no rattling there's no noise this has got this locking system where you actually push forward and down which will unlock the blade and also open the blade. I don't know. The main reason I put this video up, once again, was to find out if you guys had any info. Let me see if I can get that in and focused on that. Please do like, enlighten me and let me know. Quickly, I'll show you another custom blade that I got. This is the L Marshall. Oh, about cut myself right there. This thing is gorgeous too. I, I do carry this blade too, every now and then. And what I'll do is that he sent it to me in a Kydex sheath, and I'll run my belt through this, and I just tuck this down in my pocket, and it carries just fine for what I do. Uh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I'll put it down. You can see the size with each other, fixed blade custom, and the Daryl Ralph custom. Now, this guy, L. Marshall 32, he's going places. This guy is a new mic. I think he's only been a knife maker for a couple of years, but, I mean, just look at this, man. It's fantastic. Everything is just perfect on it. And we'll do a separate video on this, but guys, it's only going to be show and tell videos on the knives. Like, I'm not going to get technical and, and get deep into them because honestly, I just don't know. I love to learn and I'm watching more and more knife videos. Very curious about them. I love tools. I love the design. I love the beauty of them and how they work. Whoever designed this designed it very well though. It fits very comfortably in your hand if you had to use it. 
I'll call it the jimping, I heard you guys call it that, jimping up here, which seems to work. My thumb grips to it pretty nicely. But once again, this will be used for whatever I need, if I ever need a knife, more as a tool than a defensive tool. God forbid if I ever need it. All right, guys, I'm not gonna keep rambling. Just real quickly, I'm gonna update you on our channels. We're gonna start doing on the KW Gunworks channel. We haven't made a video in forever, and I haven't myself. I have not been motivated to make a video. Well, I'm kind of motiva motivated again, and as you see, that's why I'm sitting here rambling in front of the camera with this. But I'm gonna get some more gunsmithing videos going, how-to videos, reassemblies, disassemblies, detailed. I will also do field strips and what I can do, show and tell on certain guns. But mainly, KW Gunworks channel is gonna be used to preview, not really review, although we'll do some, I'm sure. More previews on guns as they come out, hard to get guns, everyday guns. We'll just give you a short five minute video on them. Uh, Dave and I, Brandon, uh, Ian, Les, and Bill, well, you know, just once, once every week, every week, once a week, I'm sorry, I can't speak. Or once every couple weeks, we'll do something like that. And my channel, same way. I'll have a video, whether it be a knife, mainly guns. Very rare when you see a knife, but I will do a couple of them. I'll show you my collection. I got about 10. Uh, it's mainly going to be guns, how to's, disassemblies, reassemblies, and just general gunsmithing videos. All right, guys, enough of my rambling. Please let me know what this is. All right, guys, we'll see you. Out. Oh! KW Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, Chrome Freak 123, Ammunition Depot. See you guys.